a video of Meghan Markle's close friend, who was among the 50 fortunate recipients of a limited edition jar, has been released online. In it, she can be seen savoring the Duchess' new strawberry jam from American Riviera Orchard. The co-founder of Alliance of Moms, Kelly McKee Zajvin, 44, who assists pregnant and parenting youths in the foster care system, posted a video of the preserve being spooned over toasted sourdough on Instagram. Using a gold spoon shaped like a flower, Kelly, who tragically lost her nine-year-old son Georgie to meningitis and COVID in 2022, is seen spreading a generous amount of jam on a slice of white toasted bread in the video, which is labeled Mornings with American Riviera Orchard. Kelly has previously been seen endorsing the product, which is the first release from the Duchess of Sussex's new lifestyle company American Riviera Orchard, in this brief video. She had already posted a picture of the product on social media and expressed her excitement for her friend's impending debut. With a bowl of lemons and flowers surrounding it, Kelly described the jam presentation as Oh, just a taste of what's to come, in her post. Very happy for you, Em. Before her official business launch later this spring, the Duchess of Sussex gifted pals a limited edition jar along with a variety of products. Ignacio, Nacho, Figueres, who Tatler referred to as the David Beckham of Polo, shared pictures of himself on Instagram this week of himself eating the jam and spreading it over buttered toast. Did I tell you I love your jam? Nacho commented on Instagram after the Florida-based Argentine Polo star shared the pictures. Additionally, PR specialist Nikki commented on Tracy Robbins' Instagram post stating that she had gotten one of the jars, describing it as very home made with a stylish crest and almost handwritten brand name. Megan has helped Kelly get over the loss of her son George, who was discovered unconscious in their family home in July 2022 at the age of nine. According to a close member of the Zajfin family, Kelly's son George was discovered, unresponsive, in their family home, and his parents and loved ones were completely shocked to learn of his passing. Kelly, who is also the mother of George's twin sister Lily, has been transparent about her loss on Instagram, sharing with her fans in October of last year that she was not really okay, and that the light is dim every day. I make an effort. Everybody is doing their best. I'm utterly destroyed. I'm conscious that everything might not fit together again, but I'm looking for a fresh approach every day to try to fit the parts back together. She paid a moving homage to Meghan on her account last year, thanking the Duchess of Sussex for her support and calling her an incredible friend and mother. You are the first to volunteer and lend help to people you care about. Kelly went on. You are an incredible supporter of those in need. Here's a picture of you and the Duchess of Sussex wearing community motherhood t-shirts to help raise awareness for an Alliance of Moms campaign. Following the loss of George, the Zajfin family set up a GoFundMe page with $5,000 from Harry and Meghan in honor of their children, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet. Meghan, Kelly, and another close friend, Heather Doric, went skiing in March. In an Instagram post, the founder of Pilates Platinum published a picture of the Duchess grinning with Doric, the owner of a Pilates business, and Zajfin on the slopes of Powder Mountain near Salt Lake City, Utah. The three had been best of friends for a very long time. Megan met Heather in 2005 when the yoga and Pilates instructor started working with the former actress while she was a cast member of the U.S. legal drama Suits. Meanwhile, Kelly and Megan grew close via the Duchess's ex-husband Engelson, who is friends with the former model's husband Julian, an entertainment lawyer. Together with her husband Matt Cohen, Heather attended Meghan and Harry's Windsor wedding in May 2018. The release of Meghan's product coincides with a trend in which celebrities are selling their own culinary items. LeBron James, Will Ferrell, and Julianne Moore are a few of the celebrities who are selling honey from their own gardens under the Flamingo Estate brand for as much as $250, 200 pounds, each jar. Meghan might have been influenced by her father-in-law King Charles III, who started vending goods from the Duchy of Cornwall estate in the 1990s, including jam. Following Queen Elizabeth II's death in 2022, Prince William assumed ownership of the Duchy estate.
Waitrose sells Dutchy Organic Strawberry Jam for £2.80 per jar, with proceeds from the sale of the entire line contributing to a £30 million fund for the Prince of Wales's charitable fund. Mrs. Robbins shared a photo of Meghan's jam on social media, with the words, Montecito, the name of the affluent Californian community where Harry and Meghan own a £12 million mansion, and the American Riviera Orchard emblem underneath. 17 of 50 foot was another phrase on the label. The jam was shown in Mrs. Robbins' Instagram stories photo, along with the caption, At American Riviera Orchard, dinner, lunch, and breakfast have all become a little sweeter. Thank you for the delicious basket, Mrs. Robbins said, displaying it in a basket filled with lemons. I'm not sure if I'll share this song with anyone because I adore it so much. At Riviera Americana regards M. Hashtag Delightful Montecito Hashtag American Rivera Orchard A similar photo was shared on Ms. Balkier's stories along with the caption Strawberry jam makes me happy Additionally, at American Riviera Orchard I adore your jam Her label read, 10 of 50 A picture of some jam smeared on bread was also included in the post The debut has greatly excited Megan's fans, one of whom said I don't eat jam that much but for you Meg I'm buying some. Indeed, my spouse and children will consume them on my behalf. One more person said, I remember learning to make jam in cooking class. It was so tasty and so much fun. I just know that Megan, with the help of her incredible friends like Delphina, is utterly enjoying this new chapter with Aro. Third, it's all in the details. The jam coverings Aro emblem embroidery is beautiful. Megan thinks the name American Riviera Orchard is ideal, a source told People magazine last week. The Duchess is anticipated to formally launch the company later this spring. She finds it to be real. She is eager for the website to go live. Her newest personal endeavor excites her. She had been wanting to accomplish this for some time. She can't wait to share her passions and sense of style. It follows the Duchess' March 14th Instagram teaser launch of her new business endeavor. The new American Riviera Orchard Instagram account features a vintage-style video of Megan preparing food and arranging white roses and hydrangeas. The short movie ended with the brand's logo above the word, Montecito, in a beautiful gold writing, set to Nancy Wilson's song, I Wish You Love. Although American Riviera Orchard has not provided much information, the United States Patent and Trademark Office website states that the company intends to sell textiles, jams and marmalades, tableware, and downloadable and printed recipe books. The application was submitted on February 2nd of this year. Within three hours of its debut post, the account had 100,000 followers. As of right now, it has 592,000. The last four years have seen Meghan not maintaining an Instagram account as the Sussexes withdrew from royal life. They shared a combined account, at Sussex Royal, but said in March 2020 that they would no longer be posting. 